in a sighting of Elian's knees. Oh. <laughs> Submitted by Chicken Butt. What, what, Chicken Butt? An Arizona ranch owner, tired of fighting off aliens, puts it up for sale. <laughs> what? That's what he put in his ad? I'm tired of fighting these goddamn Martians. Anybody <laughs> well, want to buy it, my wait, ranch? It could be illegal aliens. Is it illegal aliens? <laughs> no, aliens. <laughs> these Mexican Martians keep crossing the border. <laughs> Mexican Martian. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is a Mexican? Oh, Marvin the Martian. Mm, yes. Wait, what is he? Is Marvin the Martian Mexican? No, he's just what a Martian. What the fuck? Oh, Martian. my bad. I'm thinking about fucking what's his name? Can Alpha. Alpha from Power Rangers. He's a oh, fucking Mexican, Mexican space guy. Completely yeah, 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 different. Yeah. One's a cartoon. Robot, he's an alien though. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a Mexican he's alien. One's a robot. He's a Mexican alien though. He just goes ay ay ay. He doesn't have an accent. He's That's Mexican as Mexican gets. Ay 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 ay. That's but the Mexican English. The the uh fuck no, it's the guy that works for Zordon. I don't yeah. remember. He's Zordon's he assistant, the the alien. I mean uh, the the robot. Oh my god. I thought he was a robot. Ay 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 ay. Pollo asado. Ay ay ay. You don't remember the shit? <laughs> he said pollo asado. No, he yeah. didn't. Oh. <laughs> he might as well have. All he said was ay ay ay. Friones hated Alpha. Every time he came on and started panicking, I'm like, quit panicking, you panicking little bitch. It gave me so oh, much anxiety. I remember him. Ay, 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 ay. I'm like, what are you fucking worrying about? I was so angry. Yeah. Riba, 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 Zordon. Remember? <laughs> well, he didn't say that part, but yes. I'm the lizard, So, John and Joyce Edmonds. So, John uh, is a psychi psychiatric therapist, and oh, Joyce oh. is an ex FBI employee. So, they are the owners of this. Ranch um, so nice. purchased in 1996 in Ra Rainbow Valley, Arizona, just outside of Phoenix. That sounds so pleasant to live in. Rainbow yeah, Valley. it's a 10 acre yeah. ranch used to wow. take care of unwanted or abused horses. That's oh, cool. That's what you want to do. I love I Arizona. Horses, but yeah, yeah. very so close. They have a 3,400 square foot house and an in ground pool. And so now they are selling it for five million after the initial price of 1.7 million with national exposure because they are just tired of dealing with these aliens. Over the past 20 years, they've been fighting off these aliens or dealing with them. Oh, poor. how do they fight them off? Yeah, like shoo. Probably karate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so Skedaddle. They, they claim that they've been. That's a good one. They, they claim that they've been abducted multiple times and have had. <laughs> I just look at this phone just like this. Not again. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They had medical experiments performed on them. Another oh. anal probe. Come on, Bob. We just had one a week ago. <laughs> like uh. Yeah. So they're saying that immediately when they moved in, they started uh, witnessing weird things happening. What? His chair is all fucked up. Did you break it? No. Oh, keeps... oh. I got it. There you go. Yeah. So immediately when they moved in, weird things started happening. The previous owner had left all their furniture in the house, and so John called the real estate. John called the real estate agent to have it moved, and so they told him that it would be moved within the next few hours. So he left, and then he came back later that day, and he found all the furniture thrown into the pool. So then he was pissed, so he called the real estate agent back, and he was like, why, like, why would you do this, or who did this, or whatever, and then the the agent said that the previous owners told him that they thought he did it, that John John did all this. Um, and so they were pissed too. They were just like, well, we're leaving it here. So both sides are like, who the fuck put all this stuff from the house into the pool? They that's thought they were one. pranking each other. Yeah, so that's one. And then a few days later, after they moved in, a rough looking man with a machete came up to the house. Danny Trejo. And he told John that he <laughs> lived at the ranch. And then John told him to leave because he thought he was just some crazy guy nearby. And then that's when the man told him, you are going to wish I was here. You are really going to be sorry. There are monsters on this property and I kill them. And so John and Joyce, they started noticing strange orbs and lights in the sky like over these, these years that they lived A bearded there. man Whoa. with a machete. He's like the, the he's so here, wait, wait, he's the, he's the alien hunter. The rough looking man. The rough looking man. He's an alien hunter apparently. I gave him a beard in my imagination. Yeah, I gave him a beard yeah. too. Yeah. He's kind of like a biker guy. I picture yeah. like 5 o'clock shadow. I pictured Casey Jones. 
I pictured 300, but more hairier mm. and like with a leather vest and leather chaps with tassels. What's and then because this is Southwest, I'm picturing a little bit of a cowboy vibe here with a with a more turquoise kind of jewelry I and a little bit of the oh no you don't agree okay but um yeah because it's like like Indian reservation girl. yeah kind of okay. kind of mixed then and he he's a biker and a oh, renegade yeah but then now he's saying that he never saw that man ever again it was just well because he didn't invite him yeah because he was like you're gonna be sorry and so now John is like oh shit. Should have got his calling card. I just yeah, literally so then, picture these guys, like the couple, like there's it's a Sunday morning, everything's fine, he's cooking eggs, and they just start floating in the air again. And they're just like, mm. Well, they're saying that they've experienced a lot of it's... a lot of moments in their memory that are just gone. Like they don't remember like they'll just all of a sudden be like, Oh, I like how did I get from here to here? Like they they'll forget and then that's when they think like, Oh, maybe I got abducted. Maybe they're time. just maybe they're a couple that plays the uh, Quaaludes game. Yeah, maybe. But she's a psychiatric therapist, right? My, what if they're like taking drugs and stuff? Yeah, he is. Yeah. And she's an FBI? Former employee. Yeah. Sounds then, like a couple that likes to fucking do drugs. Maybe, who knows. But this all, like, there, there's a lot of stuff here. So then, John is describing that he's seen these gray aliens that he calls them grays. Uh, that they are about 40 inches tall with large compound eyes similar to a fly with snake like skin cold to the touch and that they appear in groups of three and that they always invade their home at nighttime. Oh. Um, Joy says that she has been frequently attacked and molested by them but she's unable to scream when it's happening and that she'll find puncture wounds and bruises on her skin. Wow. John decided to buy weapons to protect themselves and their horses and their dogs um, because John has found his horses mutilated with, his, with the eyes and tongue removed. And he lost three Rottweilers who appeared to fight off the greys and died despite not having any visible in in injuries. Mm. So then John, um, this one time he said that he saw his wife being abducted through a cone of light. Uh, Told you. In, uh, there was this <laughs> aircraft outside and so he started shooting the aircraft with, uh, with his AK-47 and he finally left and they left her. Um, and then also, but if, if the thing like she's floating in the air and the aircraft leaves, just fuck a smile. She's <laughs> <on the floor. laughs> in the middle of the light. <laughs> John, don't do it. <laughs> she's fucking in like Victoria's Secret lingerie. They're just gonna fuck me, and then fucking. Pow! I like how these aliens though have to fuck like human style. Like yeah. why do why don't aliens fuck like mentally or like by staring at her yeah. eyes or some shit? Like, or they're the ones saying it, right? But you said that he, she's gotten molested and she can't scream. Like she's like mutilated and she got. Well, yeah, they don't know where to put the dick because there's puncture wounds all over her body. So they're trying to still figure it out. <laughs> well, I don't think she's getting like, or I don't know. Anyways, moving on. So then one time. John uh, stabbed one of the greys with a samurai sword, but every Why does he have a samurai sword? Yeah. He got one. Everyone has one. <laughs> it's Rainbow Valley, come on. Oh, yeah. So he was saying that every time he kills one of these greys that they they just disappear in, in midair. Like they can't he can't ever get any evidence of these guys because then as soon as they die they just disappear. Did you ever think about setting up cameras in the house? Uh, or around the house? There was there was a mention of that. I forgot what it was, but I'm not sure. They erased the footage. Because they have electromagnetic Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fields. forgot. They're the greys. Yeah. yeah, so mm -hmm. then um, this one time that he did stab one of the greys with the samurai sword, his sword still had a chunk of the alien at the tip. So he sent that over to be analyzed by this man named William Levengood. So he's a crop circle researcher. And he says that the blood did not match any animal or human. And that the skin was a part, was animal plant cross and that it had never been seen before. And then shortly after he analyzed uh, this, the evidence here, he stopped communicating with John and he was killed in a freak accident in his lab. And John says, um, and then also the evidence was, it was missing, like someone stole the, the skin. So that's gone. Uh, it's the John, men in black. John says, talking about the men in black, he says that the men in black have visited him many times and they make him uncomfortable to speak of these things in public. And also, ghost researchers have found an incredibly high amount of magnetic activity on the ranch. So, and so people were asking like, well, why would you put up with this for 20 years? Like, I ain't no said. pussy. Pretty much, he said, quote, I am extremely stubborn, both logically and rationally. I have a lot of money and time invested in this property and many animals housed here. 
But now he's selling it because now he's just over it. Yeah. So I'm gonna show I you. Think, I think it's a great way for a real estate like, like marketing. It's like some people that have mad money, they'll be like, ooh, let's buy it. Well, it's been like a, a known property with a lot of these alien hunter people. They like hang out there? Uh, no, like he's been interviewed a lot, but like different. He should, if there really are aliens, he should start making like a, make it into a hotel and be like, get your ass abducted by aliens here. Come along to the alien ranch. No, what if he, like someone dies or some shit? I don't know. If it really is real. You just signed a liability waiver. Mm. Well, let's see. He looks like a tough ass dude. Yeah, so this is proof of some of his injuries when he's fighting them. Um, and then there's this. That's just his Sam Crow days. Damn. So he was being uh, interviewed and he claims that there's some proof that some greys were popping up in the background. So I'm going to play it. During an interview with Kerry Cassidy for Project Camelot, it appeared that two, what John believes is greys, were in the background peering over his shoulder. Take a look. Uh, so, yeah, there's been a tremendous amount of events that happened during that period of time. Hundreds. But, yeah, there's been a tremendous amount of I don't see shit. It's like a little thing. Hundreds. It's like a dog's tail. Yeah. It's like barely anything, but this is like the video proof. Oh, these stories are so good. Like, the way he says it too, like he sounds pretty convincing because he's like, I know this shit sounds crazy, but this shit happened to me. So. Oh my God. <gasps> it sounds so good. I don't know. I mean. How come all these alien things always happen in like the Southwest? Yeah. Like, is there just like a, mount, uh, a tremendous amount of radiation that helps people hallucinate or some shit around there? It, like it never happens in this like the city city. Yeah. It does. I mean there have been I mean you never know with Like you don't hear like these kind of stories in LA. But there have been uh So it's like Arizona, Arizona New like, Mexico, Colorado, and it's like some big ass ranch ass area. Yeah. It's, it never happens in Phoenix. Area. And no one ever saw it but them. Yeah. I want a, I want a story where fifty people were like, Yep, we saw that fucking gray alien. Yeah. That guy came over here, he tried to take my ball out of my sack. <laughs> <laughs> There's been stories of like, I forgot where it was, I think it was Venezuela or somewhere, but there was a shit ton of all these UFOs that just appeared out of nowhere in the night. And then they're yeah, like yeah. floating around. There's like multiple cell phone coverage of it. Right. And then they're coming out saying like yeah. it's the military and stuff. I mean, even yeah. even the, I think it was the FBI, they released it like five years ago or something like that. They had to release the, the, the public records. Now you can see all the UFO like records that they have. It's been around for a while, but a full like in the flesh alien and and I want to see like 50 people like I want to see an alien at Disneyland you know what I mean like there's there's definite proof there's there's all these people that saw this fucker it's undeniable it's oh, undeniable yeah. like there's a picture of him on the log ride going like this and shit <laughs> and you know like I want to see that shit well if we're playing with the idea that it would be a real thing and they actually do see the alien what if it's the government just trying to like wipe everyone like men in black like who knows like who knows how much of this is really oh, real. like it's 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 a human like, being in a costume or they'd be like oh 50 people like oh yeah so no it was just this one experiment we were trying or this new makeup or like there's so many excuses especially now that technology has advanced so much and there's like photoshop and video editing mm -hmm. like Ignorance we will is yeah bliss. <laughs> i think there could be solid proof then we'll just forever deny it i wouldn't I love the movie Man in Black. I hope there's aliens. 